Hi, I'm Alden, and this is your total lunar eclipse, twin flame, divine masculine, and divine feminine reading. And, you know, it's extra amazing because it is for the eclipse. And if you want more twin flame, astrology, psychic content, that's going to help you with your harmonious twin flame union and true soul's design, your true life purpose, your true calling in life, then subscribe to my channel. And uh, so yeah, you know, settle in. Uh, and right here are all the cards, obviously. And um, so I have the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. And then I have the Notes from the Universe on Abundance by Mike Dooley. I know he does like, you know, little Notes from the Universe. If you, if you want to sign up for it, you can go find him. That's like a fun thing you want to do every day. And then um, underneath there is a Nature's Whispers card to tie everything together, sweeten the deal. I mean, usually the Nature's Whispers cards are very like... On the sweeter side as far as like oracle cards go so uh yeah you know this is like the all the energy for both sides the divine feminine and the divine masculine going in to your union and let's just let's start um you know the eclipse is uh happening it's full moon you know lunar eclipse and it's in sagittarius so there's a lot of there's a lot of energy around your like spiritual dreams, where your creativity is going to manifest, uh, your true desires and how to redirect that. Maybe you're gonna like find yourself wanting to let go of some of what you were focused on or put it on the back burner, but not um, you know like really go into your guidance there. And this reading is gonna help you too, so make sure you stick around for the whole thing. And like there's also going to be you know a sweet spot that you're gonna find as you continue to go deeper with this transformative energy and that's where you want to focus you want to focus on what feels like easy flowing good and not easy like lazy easy or whatever you know um but like easy as in like it's it's what you're designed to do you know like, what you're designed to do should not be in, like, essence, like, underneath it all. It should be peaceful. It should be easy. It might be challenging at times. It might be, like, hard. Like, you know, some people's life purposes are... There's a lot of growth, and growth can be, like, challenging. But there's, like, you know, that desire and that peace underneath it. So, yeah. Uh, let's start out with the Divine Feminine's card. And your card... If you're the Divine Feminine and if you're the Divine Masculine, don't ignore this message. This is for your DF, but also perhaps it's for you. So just, you know, see what resonates. This is number four. Just breathe. Number four is always about foundation, but this is also a very airy card. And it really also speaks to uh, Mercury going retrograde in Gemini. I mean, like, this is a really good card for that. Like, it looks like kind of two, you know, twin situation going on here, two aspects of the same person, higher self. Um, so yeah, it's really about just breathing and uh, receiving your higher self, the wisdom of your higher self, and uh, like really having faith in your foundation uh, that you have been manifesting correctly, but also don't be afraid of looking honestly at things that you might have opportunities in that you don't want. You can't, you inevitably can't do everything that you're offered to do in life. For instance, you don't cook 10 different meals for dinner even though you might have 10 different options. You cook probably one, maybe a couple if you're making food for like, you know, the next few nights or something. So, I mean, that's really the same thing with anything. And with your life purpose, 
and with your twin flame journey like sometimes that could even feel overwhelming like what to focus on to love and the answer is just focus on yourself your high self focus on the divine so you cultivating a relationship with God and putting the divine first um, and you know like if that's if you're someone who's like well wait wait a second I just want my twin flame what are you talking about like or maybe you totally get it or whatever that's all good but yeah I mean um, the divine created you and your twin flame and you are loved by your twin flame through God not through your twin flame themselves because that would mean that you were just loving without a source outside of you and that is very exhausting to think that and uh, that's why Jeff and Shalia's work, Twin Flame Ascension School, just watched another class today for like the however manyth time. And um, I say that, you know, however manyth time because every time you watch it, it is going to take you deeper into clearing blocks. And that's why I encourage you to book an intro discovery session so that it can help you through the spiritual tool called the mirror exercise and you have all of the support to harmonize your union successfully with your twin flame whether you're already married to them whether you're in total separation or don't know who they are and that's what this card is about to just breathe on your twin flame journey and have faith in your ascension and that you choosing it and simultaneously not resisting your twin flame journey not resisting the work that is gonna help you and that you know so like you're calling this in are you gonna receive it or what are you gonna say when it's time to make the choice when you feel in your heart yes like this is the work for me because if this is the ascension path that you are choosing you, you you're not resisting your twin flame so you know you don't need to do that of course you're gonna find places of resistance and, and resolve those but then don't go out of your way to to build resistance right so breathing is very helpful anyway back to the basics of this card and sometimes it is about that about your physical reality like ground you know do something to be present to pay attention paying attention is loving and so it's a really beautiful, simple way to love. So let's move on to the Divine Masculine's card. And your card is, <laughs> this card is so like, I don't know, it's like kind of dramatic looking. Um, but win or lose. And it's this weird, like, to for me, my experience, like every time I see this card, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. And then I'm like, oh, 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 you know, kind of like have this like sinking feeling for a moment. And then I'm like, wait, okay, now this is good. Um, so it also reminds me of, you know, King Arthur, the legend of King Arthur. Uh, you know, my favorite version of that is, I don't know how accurate it is to the, you know, original, but just the sword and the stone, the Disney version. I just love that movie. Oh my God. Um, uh, so cute, but also really, um, there's some really good lessons in that movie too. And, um, wow this is off topic but i'm just gonna go there you know like i think it's really interesting that the uh, druids they um they taught and they learned by like sharing um verbally and that really speaks also to mercury retrograde and communication and how do you communicate how do you get your point across how does someone remember you it's not necessarily through a traditional system, it's through what you share because it is so powerful that it will be remembered in essence. And interestingly too, when the, um, when the you know, druids, the really like masterful ones and, and everyone like then when there was um, problems, I believe, you know, I think it's Christian wars and stuff, um, sorry not like remembering all of the details of that time period at the moment but you know they're kind of driven into the outskirts of society and so that's why there's this idea of like um you know wizards living out in the forest 
and having some weird little, you know, hobbity, cool, amazing place. Um, Cause these are really, you know, smart people who are once honored towards the top of society being driven out. Uh, that's my understanding of what happened. And um, yeah, I took Celtic studies in college. This is a long time ago. I'm 36 now, but I found it fascinating. Um, and uh, you know, I have some Celtic heritage myself. So there you go. But uh, yeah, so this really speaks to, you know, are you going to win? Are you going to believe in separation? Believe that you can be um, cast out into the forest for the good in you and removed from, you know, the center? Or are you going to draw your strength, you know, from love and choose it and just choose to move forward? Um, it doesn't need to be a huge, you know, uh, forward momentum. It's just whatever God calls you to do. And there's like a cricket in here, so that's interesting. It's like Jiminy Cricket. I don't know. Another Disney movie. So, uh, yeah, you know, you don't need to lose. There's nothing to lose. Separation isn't even real. And another, this is another thing about this ascension work about twin flame ascension school about Jeff and Shelley's work about you know essentially the mirror exercise essentially loving yourself and even more essentially the, just God source the divine and that having that relationship trusting the divine is enough for you to win it's enough for you to win your love. So it's enough for you to win your harmonious twin flame union. So you win. Congratulations. Just keep doing the work. Um, you only lose if you believe that you are a loser to the extent where you literally make the choice to be a loser. Otherwise, you know, you're just learning. We all make mistakes. We all like, you know, we all feel like a loser on our way to not doing that. For the most part sometimes at least i have i don't know about you but i uh thank god for the mirror exercise thank god for just like you know learning how to love yourself if you didn't have parents that taught you that just, you know just know that uh that's okay and if you did well then that's amazing um okay let's move on so um let's make sure we can that you can read this if you want to with me okay now i can't read it though so i'm gonna move it and i'll move it back <laughs> what if we changed the word work to dance with life instead of viewing it as an alternative to fishing or a way of paying our dues we saw it as a chance to meet a parade of new friends, discover our own untested potentials and unpolished gifts and open avenues for abundance to come pouring into our life. <coughs> oh, throat chakra thing. Yeah, I, I bet lottery sales would plummet. Start the parade, the universe. Yeah, I mean, I don't recommend lottery tickets anyway, personally, but you know, but to each his own. So, you know, someone's gonna win the lottery, that is true. But, um, but yeah, like, you know, this really speaks to the winning and the just breathing. And, you know, it's number four and number five, even though, oh wait, they're the same. Yeah, no, they're both the same, they're both blue. I don't know, like, why I thought one border was darker. I think because it's, like, the way the shadow's in it. Even though they're both obviously blue, I could see that. Um... So, you know, um, this really speaks to the Divine Feminine kind of like grounding, holding space so the Divine Masculine like can really feel more confident in this like kind of winning, building momentum with that. And that you both are clearing this block simultaneously in your purpose of um, not needing to pay your dues, you know, like, I mean, yeah, you you need to pay for things you go get a coffee from Starbucks you're gonna pay for it somehow you do twin flame ascension school you do coaching yes you're gonna pay for it but you're gonna win 
you're going to be dancing with life and you're calling in more abundance for yourself. I mean, we, we all hopefully know this, maybe you don't know this, but like, basically everyone has had, has, or will have a mentor who desires to be successful and become successful. And the thing with something that is so, uh, like essential as your harmonious twin flame union, it's not something where you could like, I don't know, kind of like shortcut your way there. It's not like a get rich quick thing. You might be able to get with your twin flame, but, um, being able to hold that down in a sustainable way is another story and in a way that where you continue to actually ascend and not like it doesn't become heavy that involves you know deep spiritual work and um trust me is something that you cultivate um you know like it's um it's not that it's not hard but it's something that does require that you put your whole self into it and it's worth it because otherwise you're putting a part of yourself into not love so uh, it's safe to put all of yourself into love. It's safe to invest in love. And I think that we're taught that like everything else is important because that's just like ego keeping you away from love and from actually enjoying the very core of your life, you know, in a really, really beautiful way. And, uh, you know, your neighbors, whoever is probably gonna, and even if they're not telling you, they're just people's consciousness is, you know, in this place where this is not encouraged. It might feel a little bit scary, but don't worry. It doesn't need to. Maybe it doesn't for you. And that's great. You're just ready to do it. You're like, well, I don't know. I'm not scared at this point because I've had enough of the separation feeling. I'm done with it. So good. If that's you. And, um, yeah, this discover our own untested potentials. So, you know, it's just like really speaking to all of this, like uh, all of this good stuff that can happen when you surrender to your actual desires and stop pretending that something else is more important. So that's that card. Let's move on to the final card. Nature's Whispers, maintain your childlike spirit. Yep, see, so it's like the icing on the cake card. I mean, like, of course, I, I did kind of like have that in mind when I thought of it being the last card, that that would be nice, and it is. I didn't know what it would be, but now we see. Um, you know, it's just a really sweet message about loving your inner child. And I think it's cool that we really start out with our higher selves, and we go to the inner child in the end of this reading and how it's all one and you can see how there's like this kind of swirl it's a really pretty card um and uh yeah like it's all one love you are one love you know your inner child your higher self it's all one like beautiful motion of loving right that that God created you in so it's safe to embrace your inner child and to really create the space to listen to your inner child's desires uh, your inner child is actually very wise and so when you give that part of you what you need um, while still being the adult you you know like, you don't, um, you don't need someone to take care of you, right? Like, do you love your inner child? You take care of your own inner child. And then, though, your inner child does ask for more, but that's to your benefit. You are, you know, your inner child is within you. So, you're gonna have more space to play and nurture yourself there but you're gonna fully receive that like your whole self is receiving that and it's gonna be even that much more fulfilling and this is very magnetizing to your twin flame so you're really healing that place within your union where you both desire 
each other in your childhood and um that's okay like whether that happened or not it's likely that it didn't i think for most people right now i think that is shifting and i feel that but um but yeah you know some people meet their twin flame in their childhood um but you know either way like you you have those feelings um and those desires and it can feel like this heaviness or this unfulfilled thing or maybe you have a like false twin flame or childhood friend false twin flame experience you know that's like maybe ro like romantic in a childhood way but maybe just friends or whatever um or maybe you're maybe just like that feeling of someone something and crushes and like no one's fulfilling that I think that was more my experience, although, like, I guess, like, I didn't, I mean, I didn't know, like, what a twin flame was. I just, like, had that feeling, and there were certain boys that, you know, like, I would get, like, I don't know, maybe, I guess maybe a little obsessed with, just, like, um, yeah, like, oh, you know, I remember going on vacation, being like, oh, am I gonna see, like, this? you know kid there and I didn't know what that feeling was but it was really just that feeling of like want you know desiring wanting companionship and really desiring someone who understood me because my family oh my god my biological family I, I don't they understand whatever they understand but me is not it so uh, I mean they choose not to right like so um, yeah, like, whatever your childhood looks like, it's, and it's safe to improve. Maybe you had an amazing childhood, like, all around. And I, you know, like, even though whatever went on in my childhood, there had its magical moments, okay? But, like, whatever childhood you had, like, it can be even better, and you can keep fortifying it, keep refining the, you know, the beauty. And then you can also give that, maybe you have kids around you that you're sometimes, you know, like around, or maybe you are a mom or a dad, and you then can extend that full cup of, you know, just what you've cultivated with your own inner child to another. And that is a very beautiful gift as well. Also very beautiful gift, of course, for your beloved twin flame. And, um, you know, sharing that connection with God, because God created you and God, like, really loves loves that you know when you include god in the mix and you're not like asking for anything you're just including god that's a also a very uh wonderful way to cultivate your relationship with the divine and also to really harmonize your twin flame union too because the divine is at the center of that i think i've probably said that a few times now. so that I think that's gonna do it for today's reading. That feels complete. Um, yeah, and I love how, you know, the blue cards has this really like airy quality to for uh, Mercury going retrograde. And this eclipse energy then, I feel like there's a transformation for, you know, your inner child really like uh, he a healing childhood, your inner child to the point of a transformative experience and um, perhaps a deeper understanding then of your soul purpose because of what you're able to see more clearly because of that. So I think this is going to be really good, really cool uh, week or when, whenever you're watching this is the perfect time for you. So if you've attracted this message at a different time, just, uh, you know, take it in for what it is. And yeah, again, check out the links below if you'd like to work with me. All that info is below. I'm a Twin Flame Psychic, so as you might imagine, I also do Twin Flame readings and um, I can help you with your astrology too. There's some really cool things uh, you can learn about from your birth date, not just astrology, but also destiny cards, your human sign. And I like to, you know, incorporate all of these, uh, I guess you call them tools, to learn more about yourself. And then from that place, sometimes it's easier to see, like, you know, what you're actually, how you operate in the world. And then let go of things that aren't serving you. And you heal your upsets with 
the mirror exercise, and that is in Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover, which is by Justin Shalia below, and I like to really make sure that I say that, you know, when I think to, because uh, the book's really excellent, but it's also really important spiritual information, and not just for your Twin Flame journey, but like your whole spiritual journey, which I guess I think of as one thing. But also in chapter 5, there's like a whole chapter dedicated to how to love yourself in the most efficient, effective way. Again, that's the mirror exercise, just four steps, but it does require, it requires discipline, um, spiritual discipline, and um, in a positive way, right? Like, discipline should feel good. And... Uh, then you're gonna like see yourself healing, building all this momentum, and I'm gonna help you with it if you would like my help. So you can book a session below if you would like to, and that's it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, have, enjoy the eclipse. I like saying that, you know, enjoy the eclipse, and then um, there'll be more eclipses coming up. So, I will see you again real soon. Take care. Bye.